Welcome back. Today, we are going to take this maneuver that we did last video, and we're gonna expand on it a little bit. So this was our forwards butterfly version. This was our reverse butterfly version. So we're gonna take this concept, and we're gonna add a little zhuzh to it. So from our regular butterfly, uh, my left hand is on the bottom, so my left hand is going to do my little shoulder bit. We're going to kind of hold it there just to like get a feel for it before dropping it back down. And same with our right hand. And uh, notice that like you can kind of like turn a little bit here. It's kind of a nice space to be able to turn your body and kind of like use it to do a little bit of a pivot there. The other thing we're going to add to it, uh, we're going to lengthen it. We're going to take our left hand first because it's at the bottom over our shoulder, but then we're going to pass it over the other shoulder as well before coming back down. Okay, so now my right hand, one shoulder, two shoulders down, one shoulder, two shoulders down, one shoulder, two shoulders down. Boom, boom, boom. And you might need to just take this basic movement, go just from here and just kind of like practice that a little bit. So if you're here, just a little uh, to here. And if you need to take any point and just hold it there so that you can get the control that you need in order to continue the movements. That's one of the hardest things is whenever you do something like this and you're like hitting yourself and you can't get it, what I would do is I will take the very basic form of it and I'll just kind of like hold, wherever it is that I'm hitting myself is where I'll just pause and just do that. Simplify it. So if you're hitting yourself here, go ahead and just pause there and drill that until you're not hitting yourself. And then if you're hitting yourself as you're passing through here, well then hold it right here at your shoulder until you are not hitting yourself. Okay, and then kind of see where you can transition into it, right? So like if I'm, if I'm here, kind of see if I can just transition right into this shoulder hold, right? And then since we were hitting ourselves a little bit on this left side, let's just see what it feels like to just go right into it. Boom. And I hit myself a little bit on the shoulder there and on the butt. We're gonna do that a couple times. Boom, boom. See if you can hold two beats per point. Ready? Right, so we're gonna go one, two, 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 one, two. Boom, 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 boom. Now we got this fun little thing here, huh? You might be asking yourselves, can you go the opposite way with it? Yes. So we're gonna take our left hand now since it's on top and we're gonna go right back to our first position. So if we take this whole pattern and run it like this, boom, 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 that would be like an in-spin version of this. Now we can do an anti-spin version by just going the opposite direction and starting with our opposite hand. So since our first pattern, our in-spin version, starts with our le my right hand here that's at the bottom, going in, spin that way, in, spin this way, and then it lands on top. To do the anti-spin, we're going to start with the hand that's on top and end up at the bottom. And we're gonna go from our to our last point. So since this was our first and last point, second middle point, I guess, would be here. Boom, boom. Yep, and then kind of just hold it there if that's where you're hitting yourself. And then kind of coming back into it is where it's a little bit tricky because you're gonna need to move the other hand right into the pattern. So if we're here, mm, mm, it's gonna wanna go right back on top. Mm. 
a little bit more complicated. If you're more of an advanced spinner, that could be something that you're working on. Let's go to our original pattern here, and then we're gonna turn a full circle. And now we're doing a hip reel kind of thing, back to here, back to here. So what's nice about this little like bounce is that it opens up this space that you can kind of turn inside of. And then what it also kind of does is if you open up the space, then you have this open space to use. However, if you turn against it, if I go the other way, now I'm in this crosser mode and I have a whole other variety of things to do. So take this little concept and play with it. Even if you're, no matter what type of level spinner you are, just see like what comes up of it. Even if it's something just a little bit different than what you would be doing otherwise, let this something simple like open up something new. Yeah, let something simple open up something new. By the way, if you like this outfit, it was made by Harmonic Threads. This is the Archer hoodie. It's got a huge hood. And it's got these cool sleeves.